Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Um, you, I'm sure the sound came on. Um, I think I got uh, feedbacks that. Uh, okay, praise the Lord. Yes. Amen. Amen. Um, it's uh, it's our joy to to be here. Sorry, I have to put on the Instagram. Broadcast for the Instagram audience. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So come on on Instagram and come on, on Facebook. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Sister Shaloko J, how are you, ma? I'm sure you're fine. Uh, Star BC. Uh, God bless you. Boss said it was interesting. Are you still in England? Let me know. Um, Hassan. Try and invite your friends, invite everyone. Get our share. Shay Farinu, you're welcome. Shola Glow, you're welcome. Kiki, Kik SYD, good day to you too. Kixid. Kixid. Roda. Agbele. That's Sister Roda in Ireland. Yeah. Yes. God bless you. Waving back at Jesus, Sister Roda. Togadeyemi, you're welcome. God bless you. It's time for explore the word. Hallelujah. Emmanuel. Feel the man. Um, I saw the handbill. It's going to be a glorious program. Mama Liam, God bless you. Jesus will give you a testimony over that in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, yay, Feruzi. Ha, I'm missing you so much. Feruzi, we need to talk after, after this, so don't go to bed. Um, I will call you immediately I finish. God bless you, man of God. That's a... I'm it's also, man a, God. a gracious man of God. I mean, such a blessing. Um, Clementina, hallelujah, hallelujah, <laughs> boss, I think God bless you. Um, to Bella 55, you're welcome, God bless you. Hey, that's Pastor Shea, you're right, a shower. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, that's my brother, that was my brother. Greeting for me, tell him I send my guts, all right. Amen. It was a Miss huge pleasure Ife, meeting you the other day. Shola, you're welcome. God bless you. So, get everyone. Um, um, we're continuing today on pursuing spiritual maturity. Spiritual maturity. I think for me, the number one problem with the with the body of Christ today is um, immaturity. We have people that have, that have been in, uh, not grown. Mm, those that ought to be adults are still being. Uh, still babes hmm. and that's the problem and hmm. the function of what they are fed it can hmm. be it can, your your diet affects your your, your health your health <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah so hallelujah praise the lord so give me wonderful time Hadi, you're welcome in jesus name hallelujah so please share and let everybody know we're back I think uh, Pastor Bola will just recap for us the beat we did last week. Then, uh, you pray for us before we do the week. Yes, please. Um, Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you so much for your mercy. Thank you, forever. Yes, Lord. We give you glory and we give Hallelujah. you praise. Hallelujah. Thank you for another week. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, from last week to this week, Nothing missing, nothing broken. Thank you, Lord. We thank you because, Lord, we're intact. You yes, kept your people. Yes, yes, yes. You helped us and it upheld us in your power of your yes, glory. Yes, Lord. And there, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, mm. we surrender this broadcast into your hands. Amen. That, Father, you will touch somebody. Amen. You will help somebody. Amen. Somebody will leave the floor and stand today. Amen. Lord, you build spiritual giant for Amen. Me. Your name be glorified forever. Amen. Our eyes are on you. Yes, Lord. Help our eyes never to go somewhere else. Amen. In Jesus' name we we'll pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Oh, oh. 
Yeah. It's a new school day to remain on Jesus. Oh, I need more focus on him alone. Focus on so him. So you won't be like Peter, you start sinking. Hmm. <laughs> take our eyes away from him. Yes, yes. So starting the journey is not uh is not it. It's uh, finishing it. Mm. Finishing it. Mm. No man that lays his hand on the plow. Mm. And looks back. Mm. In Jesus' name, you will not look back. Amen. Hashtag. I will not look back. In Jesus' name. Or hashtag no going back. No going back. Do you know when I was preaching in somewhere this this past weekend? Yeah. Something I just had an understanding of the meaning of hashtag. Let's get the remember. Hashtag means King James Version. <laughs> behold. behold. <laughs> and that's the truth. When you say hashtag, behold. Behold. Yes. No going back. So um, so hashtag no going back. No going back in Jesus' uh, name. Everybody say it in Jesus' name. Hashtag. Hashtag no, no going, going back. back. We started no going this back. race. We're going to run into the, the end. You will not. You will not crash mm. on the way. Amen. No. no you, none of back. us will be a project that God will regret. Amen. You wow. Know, you know, wow. None of wow. us will be a project God will regret. Amen. You know, the Bible says there was a project God did. Mm -hmm. The Bible says mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. God regretted the mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm. It displeased mm -hmm. the Lord. That. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. So you will not be with that well, mm -hmm. no regret. Hmm. Rather, you'll be that son that the Lord will boast about. Yes, so. Say, say, you know have you seen, seen, have you seen my child? Uh, so, so, so. Oh, the righteous word. man, there is not. So God, God will use you to boast. Amen. In the name of Jesus. God will uh, use I, me to boast God in Jesus' use, uh, name. Uh, 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 I'm, mm. a, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a point mm. of divine boast. Amen. So hashtag no going back, please everyone. No going back. No going back. No going back. Hashtag no going back. No going back. We'll finish this thing. No going back. We've come first. Uh, and you see, it, has, it, it, it wasn't our strength that brought us in. Yes, so. It is now our strength that was yes, yes. And that's why Jesus is not Alpha. No. <laughs> He's Alpha Omega. and Omega. Yes. He brought you in. And He so, will help so, you. Yeah. He will. He will. He will. It will. I hear some people say sometimes that, oh, you know, it's Alpha and Omega, it's the beginning, the beginning, anything can happen in between. No, no, no. no. It's Alpha to Omega. Omega, yes. Mm. Okay. Mm. It's Alpha to Omega. Alpha dash Omega. Uh, so he's in between uh, till the end. Till the end. Jesus all the way. Hmm. You know, his birth, a miracle. Mm -hmm. His work on the earth, a miracle. Hmm. It's supernatural. It's supernatural. Mm -hmm. His resistance on the earth, supernatural. Mm -hmm. His empowerment supernatural. Mm -hmm. His his um his, his miracles, his teachings. Mm -hmm. Some people heard him and said we have never heard him like before. Mm -hmm. Supernatural. Mm -hmm. His death supernatural. Mm -hmm. His resurrection supernatural. Mm -hmm. His return supernatural. Mm -hmm. Seven realms of the supernatural with Jesus. Hallelujah. Supernatural. So be, be sure. Your beginning is supernatural. Amen. How you got born again? Only Jesus can take the glory. Yes, so yeah, <laughs> supernatural. Yes. So what we have been talking about now for strange spiritual mm. is supernatural. Mm. It's supernatural. Mm. So I don't want you to think of so much of your efforts, but mm. to, to think of your input. Mm. I don't want you to be your effort, but your input. Mm. All right. Mm. Otherwise, you bring mm. uh, spiritual matters into the realm of the flesh. Mm. So let it not be about your mm. efforts, but your Inputs, input. your inputs. Mm. All right. So, mm. and that's your input. God, God cannot. Mm. Uh, he, he, won't, he won't fix it for you. Mm. So here is Pastor Bola doing mm. all the hmm, which is we are responding to. I'm responding uh, because to, it's, it's to yeah, deep, 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 deep things. Deep things. So, um, pursuing spiritual maturity. Mm. Yes, sweetheart. You have the floor today. Just, I'm, I'm back up today. I'm your support, please. <laughs> As yeah. Pastor always says, yeah. we know better. And last week, we you know we started and um, pursuing spiritual maturity mm. part one. Yeah. And we talked about the meaning of maturity. We said when you're full grown, fully developed, mm. and we said there's no half born again. The moment yeah. you give your life to Christ, you're fully born again, mm. and everything that you need to succeed as a Christian, yeah. God gives to you at that point in time when you give your life. To Christ, yeah. but the thing is that we need to grow just like a newborn mm. baby grows yeah. to an adult, our limbs begin to grow, and all parts of us begin to grow. Mm. And we talked about the misconceptions of spiritual maturity, mm. and we said, number one, that it is God's responsibility, yeah. number two, we said that. Um, it is it is not holistic that is some part of you that gets born again uh, another uh, part that does not get born you grow in you understand finances you understand holiness, you understand holiness you don't understand finances you your liver can't grow and your head is not growing mm -hmm. the whole organ organ yeah go ahead so we talked about yes we talked about the misconceptions and we mm. said those things are not 
and that is a denominational thing. So if my uh, my, my, my my denomination yeah. is responsible, so to speak, so if I'm part of this denomination, yeah. and that means I'm growing we used to the Pentecostal. Yeah, I'm a Pentecostal. Uh, I mean, no, no, I'm a Pentecostal or Protestant. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's that not. That's, that has nothing to do with that. You have Christians everywhere. It is not the church that defines who you are. It is your salvation mm -hmm. that makes you a child of God, not mm -hmm. the church you attend. Mm -hmm. right. So the conclusion we got to last week was that you are the one. The scriptures, which is the scriptures that I want, First Peter 2, 1, 2, 2, we said, mm -hmm. as newborn babes, we should desire, desire. the same of the word yeah. that you may grow, grow thereby. thereby. Yeah. So today we're going to start from that, that kind of scripture that talks mm. about you desiring, right. you know, you're not just being content, you know, with where you are, mm. you know, and I was, when I was preparing for, for today's um, meeting, I was looking at the fact that as a Christian, yeah. there are two things that you can experience in your spiritual growth. Yeah. You're either growing or you're dying. There is no stagnation. Hmm. Can, can I explain that? I think, because a lot of people mm. get it wrong, I say, Pastor, um, how are you? I say, so, so, I'm, I'm where I used to be. Mm -hmm. So, okay, okay, just just help the audience. So, how do you want to talk to Because you? <laughs> <laughs> you're either growing or, you see, it, 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 so you cannot be stagnant in the spirit. You can't be stagnant in the spirit. Silly, please get that clearly. You can't be stagnant in the spirit. You cannot be stagnant in the spirit. You are either growing uh, or you're dying. Or you're dying. Mm -hmm. Please, don't get it wrong. I told you when it comes to the spiritual and the supernatural. Mm -hmm. They are, they are, everything starts in the realm of truth. Mm -hmm. uh, you are either light or darkness. Mm -hmm. It's either God or the devil. Mm -hmm. uh, it's either um, ignorance or knowledge. Mm -hmm. It's either wickedness or goodness. Mm -hmm. uh, it is either eternal life or mm -hmm. eternal condemnation. Mm -hmm. So it's either life or death. Mm -hmm. now, Romans 8, 1 and 2. There's therefore now no, no condemnation. condemnation. Unto them who are in Christ Jesus. Who comes after the flesh but after the spirit. Mm -hmm. Verse 2, it says, For the law of the spirit of life in Christ has set me free from the law of sin and death so that only two laws in the spirit mm -hmm. the law of life or the law of death mm -hmm. that's why I'm trying to buttress yes. your point with that mm -hmm. that if you are not growing mm -hmm. not all, if you don't have life you have death mm -hmm. period there's in nothing in between mm -hmm. and you cannot be half dead you cannot be dead half mm -hmm. right? you are either dying mm -hmm. or you are growing mm -hmm. There's nothing in between. Mm -hmm. So that's why as Christians, we have to desire to grow. Mm -hmm. You cannot say, okay, I'll just remain the way I was when I got born again. Yeah. And so two years time, you begin like you're still on the same level yes. that you were. It's not possible. It's not. It's not. It's not uh, if you've not done anything, like you said, inputs. Inputs. Let me explain why that is. You know, Jesus said um, in Matthew, he said, sufficient unto the day is evil thereof. Every day um, that you exist, you are burning physical energy mm -hmm. and you are burning spiritual energy. Mm -hmm. And that's why uh, God's, the Bible says, Lamentation 3 22, it is of the Lord's message that we are not consumed, His compassion fails not. They are new every morning. You have to renew His goodness. You have to fellowship with the Lord on a daily basis mm -hmm. to renew energy mm -hmm. in your spirit. Mm -hmm. So, can you imagine you go five days without renewing? Mm -hmm. You are actually not where you were five days ago because each day mm -hmm. takes something from you. Mm -hmm. So you expend spiritual energy also in a daily basis. Mm -hmm. On a daily basis. So if you are not replenishing, that's why you cannot miss out spending time on a daily basis. If you go three days without mm -hmm. your quiet time, uh -huh. you know, you, you know, go four days without studying your Bible uh -huh. and you think you are the same level you, that you are not. You are not. <laughs> you are not. And you think that it starts like that. Uh -huh. You go three days without quiet time. Four days without yeah. studying, before you know it, it gets to one more. Before you know it, you know. And the longer it goes, the harder it is to come back. Hmm. The longer hmm. it goes. Because you are, you are already, hmm. you are already chilling your body. I, I don't know how many of you have observed it, but hmm. if you have observed it, please just like and love. Let me hmm. know you are, I'm, I'm not alone on this. Hmm. If you, you probably have a vigil, mm -hmm. you don't sleep all through, you pray all night yesterday, mm -hmm. all right? You pray all night again tomorrow. Mm -hmm. By the time it's next tomorrow, you don't want to pray all night. Mm -hmm. For some reason, your body, your body will be awake mm -hmm. about that time. That's mm -hmm. the way it is in the spirit mm -hmm. too. By the time that something else takes over, mm -hmm. okay, there's no vacuum. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when you're never you're doing you're 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 not doing a thing, you're training your body not to want it. 
<laughs> you're training your spirit man so I like what someone said I am free he said no pause in the spirit uh, it's either fast forward or rewind I like <laughs> that. that's cool wow Shady, that's very good that's beautiful I love that there's, there's no pause there's no pause you can't pause in the spirit mm -hmm. you're either fast forwarding mm -hmm. or you're rewinding, rewinding. wow that's, that's deep that's awesome. praise the lord hallelujah yes you have so the moment you're not growing, like we said, you, you begin to die. Mm. So now, what are the tests? What are the, the ways in which I know that I'm am, growing, I'm growing? That mm. I'm growing spiritually, that yeah. I'm maturing. Yeah. What are the things, the parameters that we ought to look out for mm. to ensure that, okay, indeed, I'm growing. You know, number one is love. Mm. As, as a child of God, as a born-again Christian child of God, God expects us to grow in love. You know, and I was trying to remind you earlier on, before we came on air, I remember then when, in, in, in my service, school, a teacher asked us the question, and I would never forget, asked us to define what love is. And my classmates stood up, I said, love is a feeling you feel when you're feeling a feeling you feel you've never felt before. Nobody can get that. But you can imagine, I remember Please, from that take, time. take it again. Slowly <laughs> now. Love, love is a feeling, feeling you feel when you're feeling, feeling a feeling, a feeling you feel, feel you've, you've never, never felt, felt before. Love is a feeling you feel when you're feeling a feeling, feeling you, you feel, feel you've, you've never felt, felt before. before. But obviously that is not the definition that of death. That is definition of death. <laughs> <laughs> that is not the definition That's of the death. That's the definition of death. You know, but I just remember, you know, this one, you know, you know that, because love is not a feeling, and that's where a lot yeah. of us as Christians get yeah. wrong. Yeah. Love is not a feeling. Love is a commandment. Love is a decision. It is a choice. It's a, first of all, a commandment, mm -hmm. a decision, and a choice. Yes. Okay? So, um... Yeah, please, 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 yeah. So I wanted us yeah. to look at John chapter. So right. how do I know if I am growing spiritually? Mm -hmm. uh, if I'm growing in love. So I'm so how do we need to understand so what, what love is? So yes, I'm a moderator no. today. So <laughs> that, uh, Number one, love is a command, and I wanted to just open. If we can open our Bibles to John chapter thirteen, you know. John thirteen. Yes, and verse 34, I read, A new commandment I give unto you, mm. as Jesus speaking, that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. Verse 35 says, By this shall all men know that you are my disciples, if you have love one to another. So Jesus is giving us a commandment there. Okay. That you are to love one another. So what we're talking about abounding in love, three areas that God expects us to abound in love, to grow in love. Number one, our love to God. Okay. Number two, our love to the brethren, yeah. to fellow Christians. True. And number three, mm. our love to our enemies. I love that. So you see that, like I said, I'm your moderator today. Mm. What is love? Since we know love is not a feeling it's not a feeling. It's not a feeling you feel. It's a choice. It's when a decision. You... <laughs> <laughs> you can't, you can't get it. I'll get it though. Thank you. Tell me how many do, how much dollars you <laughs> put dollars right now. We find that inspiration will flow. <laughs> All right. Then. So it's it's a choice. It's a decision. It's a commandment. When we look at love as something that is spiritual, then we understand it's not a feeling. Because see, you, if you're moved by your feelings, like that's why a lot of people, mm. you know, um, say they fall out of love. You find a lot of people that get divorced. They say, I used to love this person, but I don't love that. Because they base love on feelings. It's not about the way I feel. When you understand that love is a commandment that God has given me, and you understand that it is a choice I have to make, I decide to love you, regardless of the way you behave, mm. regardless of the things that you do. Mm. And I think that, that, that informs our decision. Because when God says, love your enemies, there's nothing good about your enemies that you want to love mm. because they're not doing you right. They're not doing you good. Mm. But the way you love your enemies is by you praying for them. Mm. It's by you blessing them. Mm. The way you show love to God is by you serving God. So please don't kill your enemies. Mm -hmm. What God says is we have to love enemies. Any enemy that God wants to judge and what God wants to kill, uh, if he, if vengeance is his, not yours. Mm -hmm. He's the one that decides when they will die. Or if they leave, okay. So please don't desire um, death for an enemy. Mm. Um, uh, uh, let's see, my own understanding of enemies. Maybe we are going to plug that place a bit. Okay. Also, I still want you to help us. 
to help us define what love is. Okay. We don't, we know the Lord was us. Is love is a commandment from mm -hmm. God to us. Mm -hmm. I think it's more that the people can simply understand because mm. once you cannot detach your feeling from this, mm. um, they don't understand what love is. Mm. So just I mean, you're the you're the guru in this area. Mm. Um, I mean, God has really graced you in this area. What 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 so is continue, love? Continue from what you were saying yeah. that for you. Um, in, in other that when people remove their feelings from it, mm. you see, because the way I see it, um, and I find that a lot of people find it difficult to accept it that way, um, that it is much more than your feelings. It goes beyond your feelings. Yes, of course, feelings come into play, but it's not centered on your feelings. Okay. If we read, um, let's look at Matthew chapter 22, and then I'll be able to... Matthew 22. From verse 37. Right. It says again, it says, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God mm. with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. Verse 39 says, And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as and thyself. So. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. <laughs> In other words, this is a summary of the whole of Old Testament. <laughs> yeah. Um... Uh, I think, uh, you know, if, I think the best way to define love is mm. to look at what Bethel does into into Christ Jesus, mm. which is God's love. Mm -hmm. John three sixteen for God's love. Mm. In this was manifested the love of God towards us. Romans um, five eight. While we're asking as Christ for us, mm. if if we have to have a definition for love, mm. um, I would say love is just. Um, the ability, whether um, consciously decided on or uh, latently abiding in you, to be able to uh, give to people what they don't deserve. Because for me, what makes sense is God's love. Mm -hmm. For God to love the word that He gave to me, God Himself. So, um, your ability to be able to reach out to people that shouldn't be reached out to. Mm -hmm. Ability to give to people what they don't deserve. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if in love in marriage now, mm -hmm. love in marriage is not actually the fact that you're physically attracted to the person. Mm -hmm. It's the fact that when the person upsets you, you must forgive. That's when you make love the person. So mm -hmm. if you have a spouse that is never forgiven, that is not loving. As far as I'm concerned, that's my own definition. Because, like I said, you can't, we can't know more than God. Mm -hmm. yeah? God is the one that is the originator of all things, mm -hmm. including love. Mm -hmm. So He says, mm -hmm. For God so loved the world that He gave. Mm -hmm. So, number one, love is um, accepting people that should not be accepted, mm -hmm. um, um, giving to people that don't deserve it. Mm -hmm. Okay. You have to look past your feelings because. Um, when when I say I love you, you know, people, like you rightfully said, between spouses, if you have wronged me, I'm able to look past that feeling of because anger. Love can of, can yes, must cover a multitude of sins. You know, mm -hmm. and the thing is, once I was just remember that like, I was trying to look yeah. at that scripture that says, um, um, which one? Beloved, let us love. Yes, First yeah. John four seven. Four, seven. Beloved, let us love one another. For love is of God, mm. and everyone that loveth is born of God mm. and knoweth God. God. He that knoweth not, loveth knoweth God. not God. For God is love. love. He that loveth not. Love. Love. So the moment I believe that as mm. children of God, when we were born again, God, God puts that love, that that love inside of us. That ability to be able to love. Mm. That's why when he says it's a commandment, he has given you that grace and that ability yeah. to be able to love someone. Like I really said, yeah. to be able to give people that don't deserve it, to be able to treat people properly, yeah. to be able to care for people. Yeah. You know, but because when it is born out of God, it becomes unselfish. No, love itself. Love to yourself that is not love. It's the true definition of that, love. That's, that's where I, that, yes. I think that's where I feel a lot of people. Love has to be unselfish for it not to be love, for it to be love. Because for God so loved the world. Let me explain this further. That whosoever believes. Now, 
The reason why the devil cannot forgive is because he cannot love. Hmm. That's all. Hmm. The only reason Satan cannot forgive is because he has no capacity to love. To love. Period. Anyone that has capacity for love. Mm. Huh? Mm. Because forgiveness mm. itself, mm. ability to look past things, mm. is what makes love love. Mm. So if I genuinely love you, which is why God is able to look beyond our sin that's it. See, and throw you to the sea of forgetfulness. And do you know what? That's why Jesus happens to be the only way to, mm. to God. Because the totality of the love that God has is in Christ Jesus. Yes. So when you are not in Christ Jesus, when you are in Christ Jesus, mm. uh, and you ask for forgiveness, because mm. that's where the totality of His love is, you must mm. forgive. Mm. But if you are not in Christ Jesus, mm -hmm. uh, mm. and you are not saved, you are not part of God's family, mm -hmm. okay, there is a love God has towards you. Mm. You want to come into His family, mm -hmm. He will forgive you. Mm -hmm. Any day, mm -hmm. you are forgiven. Mm -hmm. So without love, mm. God cannot stand in his office. Hmm. I say that again. Without love, God cannot stand in his office. Hmm. All right? Without love, God, God, God cannot be love. Hmm. Uh, God cannot be God. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, there will no be different between he, the, the difference that will exist between him and the devil will just be the fact that he's all-powerful, he's all-knowing, mm -hmm. and he's all-present. But, mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen, for me, what makes God stand out, mm -hmm. number one, mm -hmm. is his spirit, is his holiness, mm -hmm. Huh? Then number two mm. is love. Mm. All right. So mm. you take God out of this, which is mm. that's why. See, anything that is out of this two, mm. the clear you see in scripture, Bible says here where you have just read Twitter, mm. God is love. Mm -hmm. Mm? Mm -hmm. God is not loving. Mm. You understand? Mm. God is not loving. God is love. Mm. So you can't say you you know God when you, you hate. Hmm. So that's why it is and it, is, it is an indicator of your spiritual maturity. maturity. You can't say you love God and hate folks. It, it doesn't work. It's, you, it's not scriptural. You get to, you get to your your brethren in church. You, it's it's not it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't work. Yes. We, we, we will always measure things based on by scriptures. Let God be true and every man a liar. Hmm. It is not possible. Mm. It simply tells me, for number one, you don't know God yet. Mm. You, you don't know God yet. Okay? So, yeah. I just, so, the true yeah, test yeah. of a mature Christian is love. Love. Oh, my God, I'm in love. In love. Loving God more. You know, when we're talking about loving God more, and one of the ways which you show that you love God more is you're serving Him. Is in the way you serve Him. Hallelujah. The way Hallelujah. That you serve Him. So, are you serving God more today than last month? Mm. You know? We should grow in our service unto God. And it's also in the way you approach opportunities. Hmm. You know, like, like the, uh, for me, the key difference between um, a, a heart that is being transformed mm -hmm. and a heart that is not being transformed. Being transformed means you're going maturing spiritually. Mm -hmm. If you are not being transformed, mm -hmm. you are dying. Mm -hmm. The difference is the fact that some will see, look at opportunities. Mm -hmm. yeah? The first inkling they have mm. um, towards opportunities. Mm. What's his need for me? Mm. Huh? Mm -hmm. As you keep growing, you start with that. Mm. As you keep growing, you will now be what's the need for God? Mm -hmm. If you're thinking of yourself, yourself in the equation, is about how can I use this to fulfill my responsibility in the family of God? Mm -hmm. Not how will I use this to better my life so that I'll be better than my neighbor. Mm. Okay? So it's also how you approach opportunities. Mm. Do you see, um, okay, that business deal, is it just so that you just be rich? Mm -hmm. Or so that we we'll have money mm -hmm. for gospel, mm -hmm. money to, for you to fulfill your God's mandate in your life before close and back and shoot. Mm -hmm. Please, I'm not ruling out mm -hmm. that God wants you to live a good life. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. I, I remember then one, one teenager in one of the churches who passed up mm -hmm. in solid drug there. He came and he was saying he would go and invite his friends to church for teenage children. Then one day he told me, oh, Pastor, I won't mind you got in the car, we'll be able to bring more people. And I saw his sister's eyes and I, I knew I was going to have a car. Mm -hmm. Then his uncle about just called me, you remember mm -hmm. at that time when we were mm -hmm. doing this car thing. Mm -hmm. His uncle about called him and sent him a car. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. obviously, we'll go and pick people on Sunday. Mm -hmm. This guy was doing rounds. Mm -hmm. the, I mean, you, are, you, were, you were in charge of them. You mm -hmm. knew how the teen's church exploded. Mm -hmm. This guy 
we'll go and book, pick all his friends and blah blah. Now that's Mondays and Wednesdays and church days. Mm -hmm. But you can imagine that other days, who is the leader? Mm -hmm. He's the one enjoying the car. So God will give you the resources He gives us mm -hmm. that to use for Him. Mm -hmm. We are also going to enjoy it personally, mm -hmm. but we must want it for Him first of all. Mm -hmm. Jesus told them in Mark 11, um, from verse 2, or verse 1 to 4 on, and he says, um, after they had the supper, go to that village. Mm -hmm. When you get to that village, you're going to see a donkey. Mm -hmm. The donkey, um, somebody on, on, on that donkey. Mm -hmm. If any man asks you, why do you untie the donkey? Mascaras. Just tell the person, say, I need it. Mm -hmm. The moment you mention my name, they must let it go. Mm -hmm. But if you mention your name, mm -hmm. you have to <laughs> if you need it for you, you will battle. Mm -hmm. And that's why some, some of the times when we're struggling about him, mm -hmm. you know, over opportunities, mm -hmm. is because our motive is not yet right. Mm -hmm. You know, God wants you to have it, mm -hmm. but if he gives it to you now, mm -hmm. you waste that resource because mm -hmm. the heavenly resource that he brought mm -hmm. to you. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord, Jesus. Mm -hmm. just, just yet to. So our motives, mm -hmm. our motives is, 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 is a serious one for us if we're growing, mm -hmm. you know, and you know, like Rabbi just said, it's it's all about him. It's all about you him. know, and you've been willing to say yes, Lord. Yeah. You know, to those opportunities. Yeah. Yes, Lord, I'm going to use this for you. Yes, Lord, I'm going to do it for you. And if we can actually cry like John, you know, said that I may decrease that he might, he might increase. You know, so the more I decrease, the more he increases. I'm not in the equation. It's all about him. You know, first and and foremost. And I wrote here, what what is your love meter? You know, mm. what is your love meter when it comes to God yeah. and when it comes to fellow brethren? When we see our brethren in need, are we burdened? you know about a brother i think it's very important because a lot of times there's so many spiritual people that are mm. very unloving and they can pray fire from heaven and they can speak in tongues for hours but they don't show love to brethren mm. they are not caring they're not they, 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 they are not moved they're not burdened by other people's misfortune but rather they will look at it like because the person sinned mm. that is why the person is going through this affliction or the other mm. for me i believe that's also a mark of a mature christian right. if you show love to one another right. so when your brethren is going through a problem it's going it, it becomes your burden yeah. you know people are having a competition problem or they're having marital problems you can actually go back home and pray and fast about one of the ways i i I, you know, I, I, I travel by God's grace. I, I travel a whole, whole lot. And I get to churches. One of the ways I know if that church is maturing mm -hmm. or is a church of matured folks is how much we care for one another. Yes. A lot of churches, some churches love caring, first of all, for people that come from outside, you know, indigent folks. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Charity. But that's not God's priority. God's priority, first of all, is His family. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's not give rice to people outside when the ruling church cannot eat. Hmm. So I, I don't, it's, it's not scriptural like that. The Bible says, do good to all men, mm -hmm. especially hmm. them of the household of faith. Hmm. You know, because um, sometimes we do those things. Hmm. I found some churches do those things so that the press will see it. Mm -hmm. They want to have a good PR with mm -hmm. outside. Mm -hmm. the community. Hmm. Well, this is the ministry of Jesus Christ, not by impressing. Mm -mm. Jesus had enemies who have enemies. Mm -hmm. Some people will not agree with what you are saying. Mm -hmm. That is not the business. Mm -hmm. He says they hated him to hate him. Mm -hmm. But the issue is this. Mm -hmm. Let's just leave scriptures. Mm -hmm. Look for look for what Jesus did. You, I mean, you categorize love in three mm -hmm. dimensions mm -hmm. when we discussed with me earlier. Mm -hmm. God, mm -hmm. the brethren, mm -hmm. the family of God, and then your enemies. And then your enemies. So I think we, we should now emphasize a bit more. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should just stop on this love today. I don't mm -hmm. know. Because... I don't know what you have in stock. I am going to talk today. <laughs> no, because see that it's, it is it is a problem. Let me it give is. you an example. Mm -hmm. um, one of the ways I know how mature someone is, scripturally also, Galatians 6, let's start from verse 1. Let's read it together. Galatians 6, 1 to 2. You know, let me, because this, this thing has to be flogged. It's a, it's a problem. It's a problem in the body and it has to be flogged. If you are not growing in love, hmm. sincerely, you are not growing spiritually. I don't care whether you are praying more, you are fasting more. No, um, no, 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 no. Uh, the Bible didn't say, for God so fasted for the earth, <laughs> for God so prayed for the earth. Mm -hmm. All those are tools of, or rather, 
um, resources for connection and flow in the family. Mm. Okay? Um, you see some, just like you have a biological family, mm. where a father has several children. Mm. All of them eat. It's the father that's supposed to provide food for everyone. Mm. But there are some children that look, all they want is their own food. Mm. If somebody else eats or not, it's not their business. Mm. That, that is not a family. Mm-hmm. That's not a family. That, that is selfish. Mm-hmm. That's why we say that growth is holistic. Mm-hmm. If you are growing and your brother is not growing, mm. why are we doing this? I, am, I need a lot of rest and I, I really feel like being on my bed. Mm. But I know that I, it is also my responsibility to make sure that someone else develops spiritually. Mm-hmm. Someone else will develop spiritually. Because the truth is this. If, if we have just 10 people that are doing so great, mm. No, there's there's this extent we can go. Mm-hmm. There's an equation in scripture. There's there's a there's a, um, an algorithm in scripture. One will chase a thousand. Mm-hmm. Two will put ten thousand to flight. The more we have, one of the great assets God gave us as a church mm-hmm. is the power of agreement. Mm-hmm. Matthew eighteen twenty and mm-hmm. two of you shall agree. Mm-hmm. I thought it mm-hmm. shall be established. Mm-hmm. So I need more mature people to come to maturity so that we have more hands on deck. Mm-hmm. Uh, the more hands we have on deck, the less weary uh, I will be, mm. or anybody will be. Mm-hmm. So if you just want to be one of those that want to be great and want to stand out among the brethren and be exceptional, so that you have a name, mm-hmm. you are, you are, you're not going to grow. Mm. <laughs> that ground already is not a ground that God will bless. Mm. It's so that we all come. Mm. That we may all, all come mm-hmm. to the fullness, fullness. all of us. Every, that we may all come, mm-hmm. every one of us. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it's not exciting when, do you know what would have been exciting? Mm-hmm. That 50 of us can go to 50 hospitals mm-hmm. and discharge everybody in the hospital. Hallelujah. That would be exciting. Hallelujah. What would be exciting is it's happening here in the in, in US, it's mm-hmm. happening in, uh, in Australia, it's happening everywhere. Everyone is coming to maturity. That is the gospel of Jesus, mm-hmm. not the one that one person is doing so well and every other person is leaving off of that person. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. God did not call us to that. Mm-hmm. That's why Jesus took 12. Now, look at the equation. The 12 were to grow, mm-hmm. develop. He matured them. Mm-hmm. He sent the 12 out to go and make disciples. Mm-hmm. That's why he didn't just say souls. Mm-hmm. Disciple means make sure they mature. Mm-hmm. Disciple then means take them and mm-hmm. make sure you are responsible for their spiritual growth. growth. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are all responsible for our growth. Mm-hmm. All right? I'm yeah. responsible for you as you're responsible, I'm responsible for man, for you. I'm responsible for God. all of us. We, should, we need to pray for one another. Mm-hmm. The Bible says, yeah, Galatians is one and two. Let, let's just mm-hmm. read it. It's it's a if a man be overtaken in a fault, mm-hmm. you which are spiritual, restore such a one in the spirit yeah, of, of meekness, meekness, considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. Bear ye one another's mm-hmm. burdens, and so fulfill the law. Of Christ. Another indicator to know an immature person, someone, well, not immature, someone that is dying, mm-hmm. <laughs> that means the person is not growing, mm-hmm. is the fact that when one creed believer falls, mm-hmm. rather than we praying and asking the Lord for restored, all we do is we just love to discuss it. Mm-hmm. Have you heard? Mm-hmm. And nobody's talking to God about it. Mm-hmm. And nobody even tries to connect with the brother and say, how, mm-hmm. how can we get him back standing? Mm-hmm. It's like sometimes we are happy that someone, someone falls. falls. Yes. The way yes, talk about it's, it. It's, 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 Make it news. Exactly. Spread it. It will never be news. Mm-hmm. That you know, my brother fall. It is me. never be news. Mm-hmm. It is a pain to the family. Yes. It is something that all of us should be ashamed of. Mm-hmm. All of us, irrespective mm-hmm. of what the person did. Mm-hmm. All of us should be ashamed of. Yeah, there are some that the Bible says, okay, the Lord says we should leave this ones mm-hmm. and not have to them. Mm-hmm. And in first Corinthians said those that are given to fornication mm-hmm. and everybody knows that this one is perpetual. Mm-hmm. That says we should not have anything to do with such brethren. Mm-hmm. But otherwise, ladies and gentlemen. If I house anybody, I think that's when we can show love. Mm-hmm. Love simply means he doesn't deserve this, we're mm-hmm. going to give it to him. Mm-hmm. So for you not to want to give it to him, mm-hmm. you don't have love. Mm-hmm. It's as simple as that. There's no other definition. Love makes you go after. Ah. Uh, love makes mm, you go mm, after. It makes you mm, go after. It mm, makes you not give mm, up. 
You mm. know, and, and, and I think the Lord actually showed us that perfect example in the prodigal son. Yeah. Because when the prodigal son came, the father was waiting. Mm. Bible said that the father saw him from afar off. Yeah. So the father was always waiting. Love kept the father waiting for him. He did not give up on him. You mm. know. So I believe that love ensures that we don't give up wow. on whoever it is. You know that maybe has yeah, lost their way. This longing. That this was, longing that he must come back. No, sister, what you just said now, something just struck my spirit as you were mm. speaking. But you know, the father wanted now. I don't know who the Lord is talking to here, but sincerely, as you were speaking, it, it just hit my spirit. Mm -hmm. Though the father was longing for this guy to come back, the father would never leave his home to go after him. Mm -hmm. All right. So if you have one spectacular thing for you to know, if you are to how you are going to get yourself back on your feet, mm -hmm. the father is not responsible for your fall. Okay, he won't be responsible for your return. He wait for you at home. Anytime you want to get come back home, he's waiting for you. So go cry for help. Right? Meet your older brother. Meet meet the older brother. Meet another a mature person mm -hmm. in the family. Mm -hmm. See, sir, I've goofed. I'm struggling. I I did. The Bible says, confess your sins. One to your another. Fault, one to another. I'm pray for one another. Yes. He may be healed. You know, I've done this. Uh, I'm struggling. I want to come back. I've been trying to come back myself. It's not working. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it's the responsibility of that person. I have a friend in um, our, our friend, mm -hmm. a family friends of ours, um, and Dr. Olumide, mm -hmm. also man of it was. It shared the testimony with me. We were just having fresh talk. He said when he was in university, he, one of his um, friends in the fellowship had a problem. Mm -hmm. um, so he came and shared the problem with him. So mm -hmm. he told the guy, he said, oh, "Let's fast and pray together for three days. Mm -hmm. God will show Himself great." Mm -hmm. So he began fasting. Three days were not to eat at all for mm -hmm. three days. So I think the next day mm -hmm. he went to the cafeteria to do something and he saw this guy. <laughs> <laughs> now I was supposed he to saw, fasting. He saw this guy for <laughs> who is the reason why he was fasting. He didn't have the problem. He was bearing his body. And this guy was eating away. Oh my word. He felt very bad, like am I just wasting my life? Mm -hmm. And the Holy Spirit told him, I didn't tell you to fast because of him, I told you to fast because that's what I want to do. Hmm. Mm, I okay. love that too. So he, he finished the fast. The person I followed did not fast. Mm. Though they both agreed to fast. Mm. And in my child said, look at mm -hmm. I mean man, I don't you're not serious, I'm wasting my time here. Mm. No, 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 no. That was a level mm. the guy was at that time. Mm. He didn't understand. So God if it had gone wrong in that place, God would have asked um my brother, mm -hmm. Olumide, mm -hmm. would have judged him mm -hmm. and not judged the young man. Mm. Okay, mm. please. You need to understand the pressures of God. Mm. If God is laying a burden, I don't know who I'm talking to sincerely. Mm. Somebody here, God gave you a burden mm. for your pastor, mm. and you feel this pastor is like he's getting worse. Mm. The pastor is getting worse in mm. this area that God is giving you, and because of that, you decide to stop. Mm. You have to get back. Mm. Uh, God will not. God will mm. not judge you on the instruction He didn't give you. Mm. If He gave you the instruction, you don't follow it through, mm. brother. That might not even be able to trust you with another assignment. Mm. See that as an assignment. It is no not a responsibility God gave you. Mm. And look at look. He looked at everyone. He felt you are the one matured enough. Okay, so don't disappoint. <laughs> don't disappoint. All right. God bless you. So that roll up, fire on. So, I, 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 so I'm talking. Once we understand that it is our responsibility, we will not be moved by the reactions of the people that God has called us to right. to bear their burden. Right. So I look at this person that I'm praying for, and the person is still going uh, in their wayward way. That's not fact, my concern. The person, the person is just backbiting and saying wrong mm -hmm. things about me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can you imagine God telling you to pray for your number one tail bearer? Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. I do, sincerely, what I'm saying is I'm talking about conditions. God, the Holy Spirit is telling me I'm talking mm -hmm. of situations in people's life. Mm -hmm. God is telling you to fast and pray for your tail bearer. Mm -hmm. You better do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Pray, pray. Mm -hmm. The person is acting his own age. Mm -hmm. And if the person is refusing to mature, the person is not your child. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I say that again. You have no right to judge another man's child. The person's father is the one that will judge his child. Hmm. Abby is the one that will know, you know, you know, your children. Hmm. You know this one has this trait, that one has that trait, hmm. that one has that trait. Which is not even something known to their siblings. Hmm. Because in our house we have we are a large family. Hmm. Large family, all races, Caucasians, 
um, uh, Asian, all races represented in the family. So there's no way you can know, even the one that lives with you, you can't know the person fully. Mm. But the person that gives back to you knows how my child is. Mm. Hmm. While we're talking now, on, mm. on that pastor, pastor mm. if somebody said, please explain correction versus punishment versus discipline of someone found in a fall, considering Galatians 6 1. Now, let me explain. Forgiveness does not exonerate correction. Uh, forgiveness does not exonerate correction. Um, I, 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 you, 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 um, the Bible says, He that the Lord loveth, He. Whoa, why would He chastise all you forgiven? Because <laughs> a lot of people think forgiveness is don't do anything, just let the person go. No, 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 no. That, that's the destruction of that person's destiny. Mm -hmm. All right? So, um, correction, punishment. Now, did you see, read that verse, verse 1 again. Galatians 6 1. Brethren, if a man be is overtaken, overtaken in, in a fault, yeah. ye which has spiritual rest, restore How? such and one in the spirit of meekness. Uh, my own says gentleness. Why? Say gentleness. Number one, number one, God did not give his sticky to you. Mm -hmm. So, Everything must be done with the with the intention, or we have to restore the person, not the person. Let me explain this. God's chastisement is not punishment for mm -hmm. the wrong that has been done. Mm -mm. Huh? Mm -hmm. It's to say that you against your future. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God's chastisement is not punishment for the wrong that has been done, mm -hmm. but is a correction and a um, um, a guard against your future. All right? I'll give you an example. There was this thing I was doing about three or four years ago. Um, um, I thought I was depending on the Lord. Actually, it was the Lord that initiated in the first place altogether. And suddenly, without me knowing, I took over from God. You know? And I was using my effort. I didn't, I didn't know. God made sure. I prayed though. Mm -hmm. Oh, I prayed. I fasted, prayed, fasted, prayed. I so prayed mm -hmm. for the first time. My neighbor said, mm -hmm. But nothing happened. Mm -hmm. God made sure I did not get the answer. Mm -hmm. Now, it was then that now made me sit down and realize something is wrong. Mm -hmm. Even I'm receiving answers, it can never be God. Mm -hmm. It is me. It was then that I realized, bros, I've been walking in the flesh. Mm -hmm. So I now had to repent, mm -hmm. ask God for direction, mm -hmm. he led me, and the whole thing turned around. Mm -hmm. So if he had heard me, I did not allow me fail. Mm -hmm. So sometimes your failure is out of God's love. It's actually an answer. An answer. Not the answer you're looking for, mm -hmm. but the answer you need. Oh yeah, the answer that your destiny, your tomorrow mm -hmm. needs, even not necessarily today. Mm -hmm. So, um, and that's how I got free. If so, a lot of times. Um, but please. Uh, and I, I don't think anybody's punishment. We, we do not have the right to punish anybody. God has not called us to punish anybody that is overtaking the fault. We are to correct them, not punishment. Like what, I mean, just mm, looking at what he said. Not, not, versus that's not what the Bible, the Bible says. The Bible, Bible says, says, whatever we do, restore. That is the motive. Restore. To restore such a person. Restore. You know. Restore. And a lot of times also, we think that maturity is based on designation. So we think that because this person is a pastor, is a pastor, is be spiritually he, mature. He should be spiritually mature. He no, should no, know no, better no. than to do this. Maturity is not connected to um, your ministry office. Hmm. Hmm? Hmm. Maturity is not connected to your office. The office is not calling you to an office. Mm -hmm. Okay, and by the time he called you, you are not even. Born. He told Jeremiah, "Why you were in your father's room? Your mother's room. Your mother's room. Sorry, I said father's room." <laughs> <laughs> I'll rest after that. Wait, wait, your father's room. Your mother's room. I knew you. Mm -hmm. So how can the guy that was in his mother's room God had already called him and mm -hmm. called me or did you prophet? Prophet to the nation. So your your office has nothing to do with your maturity. Mm -hmm. So don't think because um um uh, this person is this uh, and he calls himself a pastor, mm -hmm. you should not be doing this. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. The office does not uh, comfort maturity. maturity on you. Mm. You see, mm. the way it is, I think I love the way um, um, Pastor Debbie explained it once. Mm. Um, I think it was in London, some years, several years back. He said, actually, he says, the way it is with us, like, God, for us, we're like a credit card. Mm. Use now, pay later. Mm. 
Mm. So it's like he's trusting that all of us will come out good. Mm. So what he's giving us, mm -hmm. we are spending now. Mm -hmm. What we need to to be what what we have spent. Mm. I feel that as time goes on, mm, we'll be able to grow up and know what we're doing. You know, it's like me listening to my first sermon. I wonder, <laughs> my very first sermon is like. I heard it and I was wondering what I think. <laughs> Sincerely, if probably you don't you don't think back and mm -hmm. think think of yourself and wonder, oh boy, what was I thinking when I was doing all that? Mm -hmm. Then you've not grown. Mm -hmm. Growth does not bring regrets. If your past does not bring regrets yeah, yeah. or make you cringe a bit. Not necessarily regrets. Bring um well, find another word for it. I I I, uh, I think you should, you should, you should <laughs> be like what how how could I have done? Ah, yeah, exactly. Why did I do? What was I thinking? What was I thinking? Some things that wow. we, we've said and some things that we've done, you know. So I love to grow. I love to. You grow. know, we should increase love in love for grow. God, and like you said, yeah. through trials, your yeah. love for God grows. Through trials, yes. Your love for yeah. God grows, you know. So for the love for God, mm -hmm. and love is measured on the scale of sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Love is measured on the scale of sacrifice. So you can't say you love God and you're not ready to shift your ground for God. Mm. You know, God is the one that also always has to meet you at the point of your need. Mm. You've never met God before at the point of His own need. Mm. That sounds like very Be strange. Convenient love. And that's a strange that God has need. Mm. You've never gone <laughs> go to really start to go at journey. Mm. Is there any day you ever told God, God, okay, okay, shut your door, Lord, I'm here. I'm here to do whatever you want to do. You want done. Mm -hmm. You want me to pray for somebody? I'm here. Mm -hmm. I'm volunteering my time. Mm -hmm. I know you have burdens. I want to, I want to share your burdens. Mm -hmm. You know, people think God doesn't have burdens. Is mm -hmm. my body? My yoke is easier. My body is light. Is light. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, so um, he wants. He wants to. He, he wants someone that will come and stand and spend time with him mm -hmm. to do what he wants, mm -hmm. not what that person wants. Mm -hmm. That's what it means to minister to God. We had a bit of that where I just came from, mm -hmm. um, and that's an expression of love. It's not just about you, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. You should come and ask the dad, your dad, what's that? Dad, how are you doing? How can I help you? Mm -hmm. How can I be useful? Mm -hmm. You know? That's love. It has to be measured on the scale of sacrifice. Mm -hmm. And sometimes don't fight people you have to fight for the sake of God. Yeah. <laughs> and then sometimes, mm -hmm. huh? refuse to fight people you ought to fight for the sake of God. Oh, yes. All right? Mm -hmm. You know those days uh, where where we come from, mm. we use that a lot because of God. <laughs> <laughs> because of because of oh. God, I think that thing is deep. Mm -hmm. I told somebody, I said, if if somebody that does not know God mm -hmm. comes to me and say, please, this, and you know the person is not just trying to uh, dupe you or be con you or anything. Mm -hmm. The person is in need and it's something. And or uh, the person is, has done something wrong and says, mm. because of God. Mm. Hmm? Mm. Because of God. The fact that you mention God, mm -hmm. I think I have to walk. Mm. I think I have to walk. Mm. So like, you must know how to reverence. Yeah. It doesn't mean that mm. everyone that comes and says because of God, mm. because of God do it. Mm. But you must know when this, these people are serious and that's their mm. own last resort, even though they don't know God. Mm. They want to appreciate the fact that you have reverence for God. Mm. Now, it sounds religious, not religious. Mm. It's part of the honor. It's like um, my somebody comes and says, ah, please, um, um, please, for, for the sake of your dad, mm. can you just help me? I'm going, what does my dad have to mm. do with this? But the fact that you brought my dad in, you've tied my hands down. Because of the honor. 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 And the Bible says it down honor me. Mm -hmm. I will honor. So that you I need think one of the, the ways, one mm -hmm. of the ways in which we should love God is yeah. with, by honoring Him. By honoring Him. By honoring Him. By honoring mm -hmm. Him. One of the ways in which we love God and we grow in love yeah. for God. You know, um, I pray that God will help us. You know, that even in times of conflict, like you were saying, you know, right. there's sometimes that you want to. You know, speak back. You would want to act negatively. Mm. You want to, you know, but because you're growing in love, yeah. you know, for God, you decide to keep quiet. You know, you decide not to to respond mm. in an aggressive manner. You decide because we really need to be practical about these things. A lot of times, as Christians, many of us, um, it's the letter, you know, and it's just okay. I love God, but we don't mm. live that practical life of love. Then even the gospel we heard. 
I think it's distorted. You know, it's a, it's, a, it's a gospel of how much I can use God and God has no expectation of me. Mm. You know, that, that's not true. Mm. That's not true. You are born into a family. Mm. Okay? There's a head of that family and that's God the Father. Mm. And the Father gives everyone the family responsibilities. Mm -hmm. And He gives you resources to, to fulfill those responsibilities. Mm -hmm. Now, let me give you a typical example. Um... Let's use Nigerian Christians as an example. Mm. We do so much, we pray mm. a lot, mm. we fast a lot, which is good, mm. which is necessary. In fact, we still need to pray more and fast more. But it's amazing how God will want us to go to an Afghanistan, mm. for example, and would we'll, we'll, we'll clearly tell him he's made a mistake. Mm. But you meet, I mean, we have a few Caucasian friends. Mm. They don't do too much of what we do, mm -hmm. but they love God. Mm -hmm. If they got us them go, go to Afghanistan today, they all they will go and do is they will inform their family. Mm -hmm. But in Nigerian Christian is God, you are making a mistake. Because love really, like I said, love is the skill of sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Love for God means you your dead, your life is no longer in your own hands. Mm -hmm. It's now his. That's why those guys can leave anything and go. Because God wants them to go. But our own, we want to love God. And, well, first of all, love the Lord as yourself. Mm -hmm. Love your neighbor as yourself. Mm -hmm. Love your God as yourself. Mm -hmm. That's that's mm -hmm. that's what... Uh, we will love him more than you. Love, love yourself more than. Because no, no, no. Uh, <laughs> when I love myself more, I don't want to go to Afghanistan. No, if you, if you love God as yourself, mm -hmm. you will not want to go to go Afghanistan. To Afghanistan. <laughs> mm -hmm. You need to love God and you not in the picture. Mm -hmm. Because love to it's a, that's the difference between the love of God to other loves, the love of the brethren of your enemies. Mm -hmm. You are in the equation. With God, you die. Mm -hmm. The more you are dying to yourself, mm -hmm. the more you are loving God. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that particular love determines how the other love mm -hmm. is affected. Mm -hmm. Love for the brethren mm -hmm. and love for your enemies. Mm -hmm. Sister, you finished the meeting. We are well, our time is up oh, now. Okay, can we share a word of prayer? No, no, no. Let, let's, let's ask a question. Okay. Uh, deep insight on love today. Thank you so much, uh, my people. God bless you, Tanim. Um, I think someone was trying to answer, ask a question. One of my Caucasian friends was on. Hey, my dear sister Kems, how are you, ma'am? Uh, sister Kems, God bless you. Sister Kems is one of the prettiest in law you can ever have. Some big sis. As in man, even at her age, she is she's a blast. <laughs> Amen. And a true child, a wonderful child of God, really. Amen. God bless you, man. <laughs> oh, oh, it is the anniversary. Oh, I think man. I saw something. I can't remember where because I was half asleep. <laughs> now, whether in the spirit or in the flesh, I don't know. Please, is it your anniversary? Why am I happy anniversary? Pastor, why am I please? Is it your anniversary? She said, I don't know where I got this from. Whether. I was dreaming or no sincerely I, I just just you mentioning their name now. Or is it past or I'm, I'm I'm getting it wrong? Was it on Facebook? I've not really gone on Facebook today. So where did it come from? Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. anniversary. If it is wrong, <laughs> adventure it is wrong. Happy anniversary, that deleted or I've just said it in advance. God bless you, sir, and man. The Lord be with you. Um, if you have any question, please, we'd like to take just one question. Somebody made a request that we should pray for backsliding Christians. Hallelujah. Good, good, wonderful. Mm -hmm. Please, all of us, hashtag be, um, pray for your brother. Mm -hmm. um, pray for the brethren. Pray for the brethren. Hashtag, please, somebody hashtag for me. Mm -hmm. Hashtag pray for the brethren. Pray for the brethren. Hashtag, please, somebody, Facebook, Instagram, hashtag Pray for the brethren. Mm -hmm. Can we can we just agree together yes, today yes. that the whole week, this whole week, the rest of the week, yes. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, mm -hmm. we're just going to like making a commitment to God mm -hmm. that we will just do ten minutes mm -hmm. for somebody that God will lay on the heart. Oh. Now don't be generic. As I'm, I'm my prayer night, that God will lay a burden, someone's burden on your heart, mm -hmm. and that God will 
give you, you will pray for that person, you pray through. Mm. That person will have a testimony without knowing how the testimony came. Amen. Okay, I don't bother going to tell anybody. Amen. That is the beginning of great use. Amen. Where you are in the picture of Jesus glorified. Hallelujah. Can you imagine how much joy will fill that person's heart? Yes. Sir. So please, we are going to preach in the name of Jesus. That is spiritual maturity. Yes. Not, you know, I, there, was a, there was a church that the pastor got offended. Mm. That somebody shared the testimony, and because he was the one that proved the sister, I the sister did not mention his name oh during God. the testimony. Please, that's what you call spiritual people. immature. So you can see, please, you don't owe any man whatever God does, he does it to his own glory. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. all right, and you give Jesus the glory. the glory, you give him the honor and the praise. Mm -hmm. Now, if the person who was praying with you, there's no problem. Thank you for being there for me as my brother. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't eulogize the anointing of the person's life. The person doesn't have any anointing, whatever he has, God gave him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let's celebrate the God who gave it to him mm -hmm. for, for the for Bible says the gift of God for the perfection of the saints, work of the ministry, edification of the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. So, um, my sister is going to pray that God will give us a burden mm -hmm. for one person. That God will help us pray and birth their miracle quickly. I think we have 20 seconds on Instagram. Heavenly Father, we just thank you. We bless your name. We ask in the name of Jesus that this week, oh God, we will rise up to this challenge yeah. to pray on selfish prayers. Yes. That we begin to have burdens for those, oh God Almighty, that are backslidden. Yes. Those, Jehovah God, that are dying. Yes. Those that have turned back. Yes. And Lord, there will be a restoration in yes. the name of Jesus. Amen. And as we lay upon our hearts the names of those people, yes. we will pray through yes. in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Um, so, um, uh, Instagram is off, yep. The Lord be with you, we will be with you again next week, Tuesday. Yes. The Lord keep it us. Amen. Don't worry, nothing will happen to you. Amen. No accidents. You go in peace, you return in safety. Amen. Nothing that is your portion will be taken by another. Amen. Bible says you not be for another to inhabit. Amen. You not so for another to reap. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Nothing that belongs to you will be given to another person. Amen. Your seat of honor, another will not sit. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We bless your water. They will Amen. not go the wrong track. Amen. We bless your food. You operate with your body. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Every element of the earth will work for your good. Amen. The Lord will bless your air. Amen. He will bless your seat. Amen. He will bless your bed. Amen. He will bless your steps. Amen. You will walk into greatness. Amen. Calamity will not work with you. Amen. You will not company with failure. Amen. You will not company with atrocities. Amen. With everybody for this case. Amen. Nobody will call you for an emergency. Amen. Your children are hidden in glory. Blood of Jesus. And the blood of Jesus will remain their covering. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever was not enough in the family mm. that you need, the mm. Lord makes you more than enough right Amen. now. Amen. Whatever was not sufficient mm. becomes more than sufficient. Amen. Whatever was not enough Amen. is overflowing right now. Amen. The glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Amen. You will smile. Amen. We are the end wants you to be disgraced. In the name of Jesus. The Lord God Almighty will bring you in celebration. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Your he your human will hang himself. Amen. <laughs> in the name of Jesus. Amen. Before your your despisers and oh, before your reproachers. Jesus will give you honor. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And above all, this week somebody will thank God that he met you. Amen. Your life will affect someone's life possibly for God. Amen. Every day you go out this week. Amen. Jesus will bring an opportunity for celebration your way. Amen. He will bring an opportunity for you to affect someone Amen. for him. And you will not miss your opportunities. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. The cloud of glory is moving. Amen. It will not leave you behind. Amen. The hand of God is resting on people. Yes. Your own head will not reject his hand. Amen. Your destiny will be fulfilled. Amen. You will accomplish Amen. divine mandates. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Your life will not be a waste. Amen. It will not be written of you as it is written about, about somebody, some people in the Bible. Hmm. And he gave birth to so so and so number of children. Hmm. And he died at so so and so hmm. date. You will have a full, full dozier of hmm. services to God. Amen. You will be relevant in divine agenda. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. What God created you for, He will not look for a substitute. Amen. Life. Jesus mighty name. Amen. We love you and God loves you much yes. more. And um, but please, whatever you can do this week, I don't know why it's coming to my heart. Can you help me just bless your pastor? Just celebrating my wife. You know your Amen. pastor. Whether you feel he's okay or not. Just 
Just go and do something that will, that will make him encourage. Encourage him, yes. I'll just Complete say, Pastor, spirit. thank you so much for all you do. We know you go through a, a lot. Nice notes. Uh, notes, a card. A card, anything. Um, word um, of encouragement. If you are not married and is married, don't send flowers. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't, don't send flowers at all. Mm -hmm. uh, if it is just a, a gift, a pen or something, just send to him. Just let him know you you really appreciate his labor over your life. And the Lord will keep you. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Until we we'll see you again. Don't forget Revive Calgary. Uh, we've not announced Revive. We've not announced BSS. Okay. Talk about BSS. Now. Holy Spirit is coming to Atlanta on the 5th of May and, and to Dallas on the 12th of May. Mm. Check out our website mm. www bsswomen.org If you have friends in this area, please let them know we're coming to Atlanta and we're coming, well, we're going to be that also. Mm. God bless you. Amen. So we'll leave you with this. <laughs>